This is ladies, it's Wednesday, episode number 11. I'm gonna give you a moment to log in. I'm always super excited for us to meet here. I know that the last episode, uh, a week ago, episode number 10, everybody really loved it. I guess uh, very relatable, me talking about my story. But let's remember that this page has been created with a thought of mind of all of you out there. I created this page to inspire women, to give them that vibe, that joy, the happiness that you can find within yourself. Because no excuses, ladies, it's all about finding the no excuses in all these areas of your life from wellness, we're talking about fitness, health, uh, relationship, partnership, uh, you know, it's so many areas of our life that it's pretty much our life. It should be no excuses. And why I realized this, because you know, so many of you know that we've been talking about this for many years in, in Pekin, right? So many of you know, but I've realized that women struggle with this. And I believe it's because we have so much on our plates. And what I mean by that, it's running the household, raising the kids and helping our spouses. There is like, we have all these branches, all these multiple hands, and we try to cover it all. And with this whole chaos that is happening, we lose ourselves a lot of times. But for some reason, I found a core in my own self and I believe that I can help you to find yours. So thank you again for always participating. Ida, I see you. Thank you so much. Thank you for participation. Thank you for giving me your time because this is your valuable time that you might be spending on something else. And if you're coming back here, that means that you found something that you maybe wanted to implement in your life. Maybe you found something that it's like a golden ticket to your life and that's what it's all about so i love the feedback i always want to hear from you what else you want me to talk about i have my subjects i wanted to give you as much as i possibly can and experienced in life so you can get the no excuses mindset and have a better life so today we're going to be talking about wellness and really what wellness means to you and as we know Peak here at No Excuses, the foundation, hi Aliana, the foundation is wellness, right? We wanted to have the no excuses mindset so we can stay fit and strong and succeed in business and in life. So I want you guys write it down what does wellness means to you. You can make comments right now. What does wellness means to you? What do you think the world means to you? Well, before I even give you the idea, I want to come out from your own mind, not from what somebody says, what you heard. What is wellness to you? Write it down. For me, wellness means having great balance, having great energy, having great mojo, being vibrant, be, being happy, being joyful, um, uh, not having like bad days, uh, having time to work out. That's wellness for me. But for you, wellness might be something different. But most people would say this about wellness. And stay with me because I wanted to point something out to you that these lessons that I'm going to give you today, it's, it, it's going to open up your eyes, obviously. That's the whole idea for you to do a little exercise and, and realize, okay, what you've been missing or what I need to really work on. Or maybe you are stuck in certain areas in your life and what happened to me, okay? I see Danielle is happiness and feeling good inside. Okay, great. So I see one person is uh, answering. Maybe your answers will come on board. Why I chose this subject is as those of you who watched my story from a previous week, um, I told you that I suffered from anorexia as a young child. Well, I am not a doctor. 
I cannot give you an advice uh, from my own thing. Hi, Elizabeth. I see Elizabeth joined me. From what happened to me in my life when I was anorexic, it was because I didn't, I did not have the wellness in my life, right? And we're going to go to the second stage in, the, in a second when we're going to be talking about relationships that wasn't balanced and they, uh, that was the most important thing. So when I was anorexic, I was sick. It's a, it's a sickness, right? So why I'm pointing this out to you, it's because I had few stages in my life when I wasn't well. And I just want to give this to you because you might be somewhere in your life that you are not well right now. For me, I have the wellness now, but it's not used to be like this. So first thing was when I had anorexia. Then when, that was the first stage of not being happy, not having a right connection with my mom, uh, not having a father around me. I was raised without the father. Obviously, we know this if you don't know, um, watch my previous episode. So there were all these different things that happened in my life. And I did not feel good. I did not feel good enough about myself. I was trying to find ways by dieting myself that I would ac accept myself for who I am. So don't you think that maybe wellness can be like accepting yourself for who you are? or how you want to be, or how you're showing up in this world. There was some kind of a turbulent time, like that, that difficult time for me, that I couldn't find myself. And I was growing up, girl, you know, like 12, 13 years old, when, the, when we grow and we go through the, the difficult time in our life, that's what happened to me. I could not expect, accept myself for who I was. I was always comparing myself to others. It was always that thing, you know, um, striving to be the best, but I still was digging myself in a hole. And the second time what happened was when Eliana knows the story, because we talk about this on the plane. I told you that all oh, when I was trying to get to my university, right? And it was after four years of high school, I got involved with just bad environment it was bad environment there were drugs involved um i never used hard ones but i was using stuff like dissolving in the water doing all kinds of crazy shit all kinds of freaking crazy shit when i think about it, it was just not good it wasn't good for a long time but it was a period of few weeks maybe months and the only good out of this whole thing is that we would go and dance all night long from 10 to 12 hours. So we were very active. But the side effects were terrible. And it was one incident that I almost died. I almost died, if I tell you. I, I almost was in the other side of the, of the spectrum of this life. So when I ended up being at the doctor's, he checked my pulse and he told me, he looked at me and he said, are you still alive? Do you hear me? Because with that pulse, you shouldn't be. So look what's happening in our lives. Like there is, oh, there can be chaos. And I used to, was not like I am now. I went through struggle. I went through difficult times, hectic times, turbulent times, awful times. But I got myself out of it. So think, whatever is going on for your life, that can be some, that somebody has it worse, that you're not alone in this world that's going with it, that's dealing with it, but you, we're going to establish the wellness. So I wasn't well back then, right? And I see you guys vlogging in. So tell me, what is wellness for you? How do you describe wellness? How do you see yourself from a year from now? How do you uh, see yourself from a few months from now being in the most, the best wellness situation for yourself? Because that's very important just to see yourself there. Because back in the day, we're talking about 20, 25 years ago, I did not see myself then. And you know what stopped me from being in a bad environment? No one, not my family, because they didn't know. It was me who took the charge of my own life 
and decide that is enough is enough and how i did that is because i was passing exams on my university and my heart was trying to jump out of my chest when i was taking the exams to swim and i thought that i'm gonna die in the water if i'm not gonna stop what i was doing so wellness now is different than what I was experiencing back then. It was nothing like this. So I want to point this out to you that nothing in life stays forever. Don't take failures in your life as a permanent situation. They come and go, but you cannot absorb them uh, in a way like, oh, oh my God, this is forever. I'm going to be like this forever. I'm going to have failure. I'm going to feel forever like this. No, this comes and goes. So, do you take care of yourself right now? Do you take time to work out? Do you eat healthy? Do you have that time for yourself, for you and you only, so you actually feel like you have a good care of yourself? Because if you don't, if you run the days and you feel overwhelmed from one thing to the next, eventually the bomb will blow up and you're gonna have a difficult time dealing with this. And we're gonna talk about overwhelm and other meetings because that's a separate subject. I just wanted to know if you are eating healthy, if you hydrating yourself, if you um, if you going to sleep earlier, are you just trying to catch up with your life? Are you running like you know a crazy dog with a tongue stinging out, trying to catch up with everything? You gotta slow down and say, you know what? That's what we were talking about the organization and schedule put everything on the schedule some of you ask me what i'm doing what kind of um what kind of uh, i would say planner i use yes i use the brandon bouchard planner but there are different ones it's it's up to you some people just like to put their own thing that's what we did in in a few previous episodes we put like the opening routine the closing routine you can do this you can create on your, your own based on how you are right? And do this. Plan the day. Put it in your calendar, what you're going to be doing, because that's the self-care. That's the wellness. Because if you're going to be driving your day, day not feeling good, not feeling happy, not feeling satisfied, you're not going to achieve the wellness. And that's what the site is all about, to kind of shake you up, wake you up and say, you know what? This is one life I need to take care of myself. Now, with the wellness, as I mentioned before, because the connection with, 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 with other people were disturbed in me, you know, years, years ago, maybe when you think about it, like in your household, usually with, within the partners or your husband or wife, whoever, because the guys might be watching this, so I gotta say husband and wife, whatever, your partner, your kids. When you think about it, like how is the surroundings, how is your environment? Are they supportive or are they not? What is the environment in your house that helps you to grow? Because if you fight with your spouse, if you fight with your kids, if they're not supportive to you, there's always a tension going on, believe it or not, this has a part, huge part in your wellness. If you do not have this figured out, if you do not have people on board with you, if you not work with symbiosis, you're gonna have a difficult time getting your wellness now think about it think about it like these times that um you know you, you have a fight and then how can you really concentrate how can you create how can you have a peace of mind and have a, a happy life when you always have attention maybe in your household you need to find this out and i'm gonna give you some work to do so the connections are super important. I want you to write down right now five people names that are the closest to you, that are the, the most important to you. And how is their interaction with you and them? What's the interaction? And are they supportive? Because let me give you an example. Obviously around me, there is Steve, there's Ivanka, there's Tyson, there's my mom, there are my grandparents. I use them as one. Uh, uh, even though I talk to my grandma more often than grandpa. Isn't that strange? Like, guys don't have, like, connection. I don't know what it is. My grandfather was great when I was little, and now he's doing his own thing, which is crazy. Maybe because he doesn't hear it well, too. 
So these people in your life, how are they with you? Are they supportive? Are they understanding your mission? Are they understanding you? I see somebody's coming. This cutie pie. This cutie pie is gonna be continuing to do your collage. I love when she comes in. She's going to jiu jitsu. Oh, I'm done with you done with your homework? Mm -hmm. But you gotta. It's it's time for you guys to get ready. Can you put your jiu jitsu suit and show me here? Come back here and just close the door, okay? okay. No, this is for me. I have a, a broken voice. So. <laughs> So how is your relationship, how is your relationship affecting your wellness? That's very important. Because back in the day, when I couldn't agree with my mom, that, that was that outlet for me. Uh, because I thought that she wants to be in control over me. I started dieting because I thought if I'm going to diet, she doesn't have a control over me. Look how silly this is, but those are things that go on through someone's mind. We need to search for those to have a wellness in our life. So wellness is not only about you, it's us, and then it's our surroundings, right? That's very important to understand. Now, guys, write it down. Girls, write it down in the chat. Like, how is your wellness now? Write it down. I want to hear from you because... Me talking, that's one thing, but I want to hear from you. What are you experiencing right now? Because that's, that's what this page is all about. It's not about me. It's about you. It's about us here. So we can learn from one another. And your experience becomes um, someone else's uh, idea of maybe doing certain things or you're going to learn from that person, right? So... I want to see comments. Let me just scroll down because I don't see it happening here. I don't see nothing comes out on the screen. So, uh, <clears throat> yes, Liz, if you write it down, I'm going to see it in the chat, definitely. So type it out, type it down for me, write it down for me, and rate yourself in these relationships too. Like one to ten. One is bad and ten is great. Yes, and, and Liz is saying wellness to me is learning to love my creator first, second, my family, and third, myself. So she has a list of priorities. For you, it might be something different, and it's okay. Everybody is different. So what I want you to understand is that um, appear as you are for who you want to be. I think, and that's why we're going to go into congruency um, and the way how you want it to be in life what what are you all about and congruency isn't congruency for you meaning fulfilling your mission like something that you meant to be and meant to do in this life so back in the day when i had these turbulent times it was like an escaping for me escape 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 and it was a lost literally tornado but now, when I look at my life, I fulfill myself because I give. So I believe that wellness, when you find yourself, when you find your surroundings, when you really grow like a tree on a good ground, then like the tree can give fruits, can give, you know, can be fruits or can be something else. That's like you growing with the environment and you give to others. That's like I would say, I would explain it to you. Roots go into the ground. Ground has to be good. That's your surroundings that you're growing into that beautiful tree and you give the fruits to others. So what is that you can give? Because I believe when we give, that's when we fulfill ourselves. Back in the day, I couldn't give. I was only taking from life. But till I found myself here on this ground, here in America, I understood that when I give, when I service, that's when I'm most happy. So what is that you can offer? Because I believe that every single one of you has something to offer. Some of you will be offering to your families. Some of you will be offering to your partner. Some of you will be offering to communities. But what is it? Write it down. 
Write it down. I want to. I want to see. I want to see. I want to hear from you. Because think about it. Humans on this on this earth are for. If you think like about life, that's how I feel. If we would stop giving, there would be no progress in this life. That that would be. We would be stuck in the era of like prehistoric old times. Like think about it. If we would if we would not have people that are fully committed to their mission and people that are obsessed with what they want to do or help others our life would be stuck at the same spot don't you agree so think about wellness in those three categories yourself your environment and think if people in your life maybe people that you love um, you think that you have a good connection, you might have a great connection with them, but maybe they don't have the best influence on you, or maybe they want to, they want for you to be who they want you to be, not for who you want to be. I've had that in my life when the family wanted me to do something else, and I chose this because I felt that this is my purpose. And when you have the balance and doing things that you truly love. That's the wellness. And that's when you're going to start feeling like, wow, this all comes together as a one big vision for me. And now I am fully happy because that's, that's, that's what I would say. That's what it's going to be for you when you, when you're going to crush your day, when you get up, when you're going to, like, I have to tell you, when I get up in the morning, I get up with that mission in mind that I have to accomplish something that I need to help someone and that's what drags me out of the bed at 5 a.m. in the morning but you need to have some kind of a mission in life and so many of you are not taking care of yourself not taking help as a priority being in a bad environment and not doing what you are created to do not going with maybe your talent or your fulfillment and that's wrong so we need to find this today and that's why i said write down the relationship think about contribution in life think about what you love how you can give to the society how you can help others and that's when you're gonna feel congruent with your mission and you're gonna feel happy and again People always ask me when I when I do get like motivated to 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 get up and do these things because I am living with what I supposed to be doing. But no way I would have gotten up in the morning and do all these things throughout the day and get up at five and try to drag my day if I wouldn't do that. I get up because I wanted to learn. I wanted to implement new things i wanted to share with you new things i wanted to help people and today let me tell you i was waiting for this episode and i actually feel better when i got up this morning this is the second day when i don't feel good when i'm sick i don't know what it is it's just a cough and hopefully this is going to be just a cough i performed this crazy ass session in the morning at 6 15 a.m and when I finished, I almost passed out from not being able to breathe because I pushed myself so hard because I showed up for you. Because I had an obligation and I didn't want to make an excuse. I don't feel good and I'm not going to show up. So wellness is having the no excuses mindset. Having a good relationship is that no excuses mindset. Like showing up with without making excuses no matter what's happening around you and i almost think like i felt better just thinking about this episode today when i'm gonna see you and i'm gonna meet you that i'm gonna have extra energy and think about this in life another thing is like that's exactly what i what i mean by i was waiting for the episode and i literally felt better just by thinking, because I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to deliver. That's how I felt in the session. When I was doing the session, I really didn't feel anything. When I finished the session, I felt like crap. So it's okay. I'm just giving you an idea that 
these things that drive you in life, that the, the, the internal motor that you have, that motivation, that's something that will push you out of the bed in the morning, that's going to make you do things that you sometimes even wonder why you do them. Those are the things that you should pay attention to because that's what makes you feel good throughout the day. So sometimes you go through the day so quick and you don't realize what made you feel good. Like what is the happy feeling that you have today? What made you feel happy? Like, and that's why I do this journaling in the morning and in the evening. What made me happy today? Like what are the little things that I accomplished? How was my relationship with my kids? You know, did I treat everybody good today? Uh, was I was I influential? Those are the things that you should pay attention to because if you go on an autopilot, I'm not saying the autopilot is wrong as far as like eating healthy. I am on autopilot. It's like boom, 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 boom. It's always fit in so I don't struggle with nutrition. We can go over this one day how I eat so I can give you an idea but uh, feeling these moments of happiness if you don't recognize this and you keep on going 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 you you you're realizing it's just I'm just I'm, I'm I'm just in the tornado all the time I'm not even accomplishing anything it seems like these days are the same nothing is fulfilling I'm just doing some busy work busy work yes it happens to all of us all of us has it but recognizing your little victories throughout the day and those three things that we discussed today the whole entire wellness about you about your connections about your contribution about giving and how you feel about that all right ladies Today is obviously a little shorter episode. I just wanted to uh, hear from you. I see Laura is here, Eliana. I saw um, Ita. I saw Kat Danielle. I saw a couple of you. I hope that this episode gave you a little insight. And of course, next week, uh, Jenna Valdez, we're going to have actually Jenna coming on. And Jenna's going to say her story, which is really, really cool. Jenna got involved in hypnosis. And um, she's going to perform maybe 10 or 15 minutes on you. We're going to discuss all of this, how this can be run and, and done. And it has to be in safety, uh, obviously. But she's going to tell her story. And uh, again, you want to submit your story. You want to talk to me. You want to have like a subject, an idea. Come, send me a message. Make sure also that you are... Uh, submitting your email because I send this email tomorrow when I create the YouTube links for that video and you guys can replay uh, at any time so make sure that you have your email that you submitted your email you get the information and of course don't forget that this is a separate page from from Peak Physique and if you are looking to get in shape sign up with the upcoming six weeks challenge that we have virtual weight loss challenge and we have 71% off. So this is right now as of January 20th. Somebody will be watching this later, a few months from now. There will be no six challenge. So I will point this out. That this is the class of the Anyway, ladies, thank you so much for, for watching. Have a no excuses. And again, submit your